Hello, welcome to Mark with a Theo. Today we are going to start what we call the linear equations using two variables. And to solve this problem, we are going to start by looking at what we call the addition method. There are several methods to solve linear equations with two variables, but today we are going to look at addition method. And then next week we look at another method. So what we do here, so the two variables you have is x and y. And you have two equations. The first one is 4x plus 3y equals 10. The next one is 2x plus y equals 4. So the whole idea here is to see how well you can eliminate one of the variables and then find the value of that variable and substitute that in one of the equations and get the second variable. So you look at X and Y in both equations and see which one might be easier to eliminate first. You could either start with the Y's or, or the X's. Now this additional method might be confusing in the sense that it's addition, but you can also do subtraction. So what I want to do here, I choose to make the X values to be the same in both equations for example this is 4x so i want to make this also to be a 4x so that when i subtract it will eliminate the x's and then i remain with y so to make this 2x to be the same as 4x i multiply this by 2 so if i multiply this whole equation by 2 what i'll end up with is this will stay the same, so 4x plus 3y equals 10. Now this now changes, so 2 times 2x will be 4x, and then 2 times y will be 2y. And you have to multiply everything, so 2 times 4 will give you 8. Now, if I subtract, these two equations, then 4x minus 4x will go, so we don't have any more x's, and 3y minus 2y will give us a y, 10 minus 8 will give us a 2. So that means y is 2. And then substitute this value in any of the equations so that you can get x. Look at the easy equation that you can use to quickly solve. It doesn't matter which one you use, but take the simplest one. So in this case, I'm going to take this. So I'm going to substitute where there's y, I put a 2. So here I'll have 2x plus y now is 2 equals 4. And this gives me 2x. Now I have to take 2 to this side. So that means for me to eliminate 2 on this side, I'll take away 2, so whatever you do on the left, you do on the right. So minus 2, minus 2. So if I take away 2, this one goes, and then 4 take away 2 will give me 2. To remain with the x, I divide by 2, divide by 2. So the 2 crosses, I have x equals 1. So now I know y and I know x. It is always a good practice to check whether your solutions are correct. So we can check our answer by substituting this value of x and this value of y in any of the equations. So let's try this equation again. So where there's x, we'll put 2. So this will be 2 times x is 1 plus y is 2 and equals 4. So here we get 2 plus 2 equals 4, so 4 equals 4. Then I know my answer is correct. So you can always check. It's always a good practice to check and make sure that your answer is correct. You can do the same with this. You just substitute the value of x, which is 1, so that gives you 4. y is 2, that gives you 6. 6 plus 4 is 10. So these two answers are correct. I want you to try this on your own 
see if you get the answers as x equals minus 2 and y equals 1. Similar process. Next week, I'll look at another method. So this is the addition method. Do not forget to subscribe to Mark with the Pure channel so that we can be able to uh, help other people might be struggling with these kind of problems. Thank you. Bye.